Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Schaefer, and we've been talking about the evolution of eye care. And of course, Schaefer Eye Center's new theme, Evolve Your Eyes. And part of that evolution is education of our patients. And today, I'm going to do a whole lecture on the dry eye. Ocular surface disease is something we talk about in optometry as what it encompasses, but so many of you out there have dry eyes. So I'm going to take a little time today and I'm going to explain a comprehensive review for you of all about the dry eye. And it starts with all this. It starts with the eye exam. Because when you have a general eye exam, and most of you do through your, your eye insurance, whether it be VSP, IMAT, a multitude of insurances, including Blue Cross Blue Shield, we have a basic comprehensive eye exam. I use two words there, basic and comprehensive, because we really cover just an overall of what the eye is like. At that point, we may discover that you have a dry eye. And you may ask, well, how would I know I have a dry eye? Number one, You'll have blurred vision sometimes when you blink. Number two, you may have a scratchy, burning feeling. Number three, you may not feel anything. We may be just see a dry eye coming on. And it starts not just with your eye, it starts with everything. So when we do an eye examination and we move to the dry eye evaluation, the first thing we're gonna do is find out what kind of medications are you on? What is your ocular history? What is your medical conditions? Do you have Sjogren's? Do you have rheumatoid arthritis? Did you just start taking hormones? Are you over 40 years of age? There are so many things that precipitate a dry eye in an individual, but it all starts with that, and that's how we start. And from there, we go to a complete evaluation, which throughout medical records now is so complete and so great that we will, on a separate visit, this is never done during an eye exam, you know, it's always done, we diagnose during the eye exam, then we bring you back to do an ocular surface disease evaluation, which is really a dry eye evaluation. And we'll go through, through all these different programs as I'm gonna show you here. But the first thing we're gonna do is, this is called a tear lab. And this is a piece of equipment now where we can measure the osmolarity of your tears. That means we can tell how many particulate matter is in your tears, because you have a high osmolarity Generally, you're having evaporation. If you have an evaporation, there's something going on. Next, we can look at your eyelids. We know that eyelids are the cause of the majority of dry eyes. And so we'll use different tools like this or like this to actually express your eyelids to determine do you have meibomian gland disease which is usually the number one cause of dry eye. This is new stuff. The MGD uh, process was brought in, into being over the last five years. And 10 year, years ago, we didn't even test for this. And now we actually have ways where we can actually take a probe and put a probe down into the gland to reopen that gland to start the dry eye process. Now most everybody knows what these are, artificial tears. And I'll pick up any one of these and know that when you, you've, if you're using an artificial tear, you probably have a dry eye. If you're wearing a contact lenses, you probably have a dry eye at some point in your life because contact lenses are one of the things that do cause a dry eye. But I can tell you, artificial tears by themselves do not treat dry eye. It's rare, extremely rare, that these drops by themselves would ever treat a dry eye. And what happens is then we move to another drug called Restasis. And again, this is not a commercial, but I can tell you on almost all of our dry patients that need to use these drops more than twice a day, we go ahead and write a prescription for stasis. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, I tried that. It didn't work. The problem is not that you tried this. You tried this by itself and you didn't do the array of other things we have to add to this. That's number one. Number two, this drug has to be used for at least three to four months every day in order to take effect. We really don't look for changes from restasis till four to six months later. And when we prescribe restasis, it's usually for a year. And again, you may say that's very expensive. There are plenty of programs now that actually make restasis no more expensive than just buying an artificial tear. A lot of times we'll use both, both together, but not too much anymore. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that we first treat the problem. And that takes one of these medications, and there's many, many more. I'm just going through a small education thing. And this is called Lotamex. This is an eye steroid. This is cortisone for the eye that actually breaks the inflammatory process. And we know that dry eye is an inflammatory process. 
And Bristasis, as I showed you earlier, is an anti-inflammatory drug that's very slow to work and very weak. Lodomax is very strong, but there are side effects, so we have to watch very carefully when we start this Lodomax. Now, next, you may say, we'll see patients, and that may be enough. not be enough. We have a drug, it's a very old drug, but now it's back and it's used all the time, called Lacrosert. And these are actually little pellets that you put in your eye in the morning or the evening, and they emit a tear all day. So when you take Lacrosert and add it to Restasis, now, for those people who have really dry eyes, we have a way for them to take care of their eyes with only using a drop twice a day rather than using a drop four to six times a day. Now, when we do use an artificial tear, we generally like to use a non-preservative because a lot of people don't understand the preservative in tears may contribute to your dry eye. Now, those are all different medications that we use on a regular basis. The next thing is punctal plugs. Um, for y'all that have never had one, you want to know, a punctal plug is a, a tiny little plug, and we'll show you some pictures, that's actually placed into the drainage system of the eye to stop the tears. But we never put a plug in a person's eye before we've treated them with all this for at least two months, because we know we want those tears clean. And if you have dirty tears and you're plugging them into the eye, you're generally going to probably cause more irritation, not less. So the first thing to do is treat the eye, get it better, and then we add the plugs. We also are now expressing, as I showed you earlier, this is called a mask and expressor. And usually it takes three to four visits where we actually have to express your meibomian glands. And we're going to show you a little video to show you what that's like. And what that does is allow the meibomian glands to start working. But you will then go home, and we have many devices. I'm just showing you one where this is a hot pack. You will put on your eyes at night for about 10 or 15 minutes to loosen up the mybum in the mybomian glands so that when you massage your eyes, now you're getting them working. We know that that process takes, again, another three to six months. Dry eye is a process. Now, when going through testing, a lot of people know and heard about what's called a Sherma test. It's a tiny little piece of paper that we put into your eye to determine how dry your eyes are. The biggest issue is, is this test really relevant? Now, if you have Sjogren's or you have rheumatoid arthritis, you have a true dry eye, acne rosacea, we know that Sherma is great. But if you have a, low, a very low-grade dry eye or just some scratchiness, chances are Shermas do not work very well. In fact, I hold very little on our Sherma tests unless you're an extreme dry patient. One of the ultimate treatment devices is contact lenses. And I'm going to show you a lens here. This is a normal RGP lens that will hold this that you'll be able to see. And next to it is now a scleral lens. And as you can see, the size of that lens is larger than the average soft lenses. And this is absolutely a hard lens that you can see. It's hard, the ultimate treatment for dry eye. We only use that when all else fails, then we fit in scleral lens. Now, you have other corneal diseases like keratoconus. This has been a wonder drug. So we use the scleral lens at first line because sometimes we don't have to use any of these medications when we put patients in a scleral lens. And that includes people with graft versus host disease, which is probably one of the most severe dry eyes we're going to deal with. Okay, Joe, if you would blink your eye. Now, as you can see, this is what the eye examination moves to as we're doing ocular surface disease. We actually have three different dyes. And again, this is nice and colorful, we'll have fun. We always pick two. Not sure which one you're going to get, Joy. But we really want to dye the eye with different kind of dyes because we watch the tears and how they work with the eye. We also like to look and see how the surface of the cornea is, and that's what these different tears do. They stain the cells of, of Joy's cornea so that we can actually determine which cells are dead, which one's dying, and actually what the dry eye is all about. It's a real simple process, and this is what starts the dry eye evaluation. We've been through drugs, we've been through instruments, we've been through devices. Next is vitamins. 
And we know today that there are vitamins made just for the dry eye patient that have this right mix of omega-3 and omega-6 and other nutrients that actually help the eye produce more tears. And again, that's the goal is to produce tears and to stop the tears from evaporating. The next treatment item is so simple, and sometimes we don't think how important it is, but sunglasses. If you have a dry eye, you should be wearing sunglasses when you're outside. It protects your eye and it keeps your tears um, like a moisture chamber into the eye and less evaporation. We like you to use a wrap type lens with usually a thicker type temple so it actually like creates a barrier. The same thing with your regular glasses. We usually on dry patients want a glass with a little bit of wrap so it actually adds a protection barrier for our dry patients. As you can see, a dry eye is a very complex disease process that's progressive, inflammatory, and it takes so much effort to make sure that the dry eye stops getting worse. Because if you have a dry eye at 40 and 50, it's gonna be really bad when you're 70 or 80. We went through this entire array of drugs, instruments, devices, and of course, most importantly, the examination to determine what is your dry eye and what are we going to do about it? We didn't discuss contact lenses because that's another show, but remember when you wear contact lenses, there's a massive amount of lenses that we can use to help with that dry eye also, whether it be daily wear or the solutions you use because it's very important on contact lenses, the way you clean the lens, the type of lens you're using, how often you throw it away, and its relationship with the dry eye. I hope this review and this little lecture gave you a comprehensive view of what a dry eye is like. Remember, it starts with an eye examination, which then leads to an ocular surface disease or dry eye evaluation, and then a treatment process. And it usually takes three to five and sometimes 10 visits to really get the, the best system for you and your dry eye. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. The science of seeing better goes well beyond just an ordinary eye exam. At Schaefer Eye Center, our doctors and vision specialists use the latest in advanced diagnostic equipment to not only make sure your eyes are healthy, but that you are too. Of course, we can detect all the things you expect, like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and ocular hypertension, but also many things you wouldn't expect, like early indicators of more serious health conditions, like diabetes and even brain tumors. Perfect vision. The freedom from wearing contacts or glasses can be yours with Schaefer Laser Vision. We helped pioneer the use of LASIK surgery in Birmingham over 20 years ago, and our own Dr. Jonathan Wilson has performed over 80,000 surgeries, including more than 300 eye doctors. Just imagine being able to see well into the future without wearing contacts or glasses. Of course, you already know Schaefer Eye Center is the destination for designer eyewear. Cartier, David Yerman, Sama, Robert Mark, Bart Pereira, Salt, Oliver, Peoples, and many, many more. With over 3,300 frames available, we can help you find the perfect pair for your individual needs, style, and budget. The Schaefer Eye Center experience is all about you, but it begins with our people. Our doctors and vision specialists are committed to giving you the best in comprehensive eye care. Whether it's your regular exam, new frames, LASIK surgery, dry eye treatment, finding the right contact lens, or even helping you navigating your insurance options, everyone at Schaefer Eye Center is focused on one thing, giving you clear, comfortable vision. Are you ready to evolve your eyes? Experience it for yourself. Visit Schaefer Eye Center today. Visit Schaefer Eye Center's new expansion at the Colonnade and new location in Pelham. Um, well, my name's Tracy Randall and originally I'm from St. Louis, Missouri and I moved to Huntsville a couple of years ago. I did a lot when I was younger just with sports. I was a swimmer, I ran track, um, I was in the marching band, I did a lot and I've been wearing glasses since the third grade 
and I've been wearing contacts since I was in high school. So as I got older, I was a little bit less active, but I started getting involved in things again, playing softball and sparring and just different things. So it was getting to the point where I really didn't want to wear glasses or contacts anymore. My friends that know me well know that I'm a very analytical person and I like to do research. I'm kind of a nerd in that way, I guess, but I love Googling things. And so I just went on the internet and looked at some of the options in Huntsville in the area. And I saw that Schaefer was a pretty big center, had a lot of different locations, a lot of good feedback on the internet. And when I started to look at the options for um, the doctors that would actually perform the LASIK procedure, I just looked at their records and all of their information. Um, Dr. Wolfson's got an amazing record. Um, he's endorsed by the Falcons. So, I mean, I, I literally <laughs> combed the internet for information just to make sure that I was making a good decision. Schaefer, I think, has a great brand. I think as a whole, it's consistent. My physician, Dr. Vandervert in Huntsville, I mean, the office is amazing. They give you great information. Before I left Huntsville, I was fully aware of what would happen, how I would feel for the most part, and they were spot on. It's amazing to wake up in the morning and just go. You know, at Schaefer Eye Center, we've discussed evolving your eyes. Well, this is about the evolution of eyewear, and especially sunglasses. You know, I see um, that it's that time of year again. What time is it? I don't know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, summer vacation. Sunglasses are not seasonal anymore. It's a year-around entity that we wear not only to protect our eyes, but also to look good. So I thought we'd spend a few minutes and go through the array of sunglasses that we do have at Schaefer Eye Center so you can have an understanding of the fashion involved and of the lenses. Now today I'm not going to discuss lenses as much except that you need to have quality lenses um, in, your, in your glasses because it's about blocking ultraviolet radiation. Whether it be retinal degeneration, cataracts, or even the skin around our eyes, basal cell carcinomas, you know about the sun, we know about protecting from UV, so you have to make sure you have the right lenses. We're going to take that for granted today. Today we're going to discuss, fa discuss fashion. When you look at sunglasses, we're going to start with sports because when you're playing sports, it's important, real important, you wear protective eyewear. So whether you're fishing, golfing, playing tennis, you not only want function, um, but you want protection. So Canon is one of our favorite brands. This gives the best lens for the best clarity, the function, and fashion. As you can see, they have great frames that are both fashionable and function oriented. Everybody knows Oakley. Oakley's wonderful. Their lenses, they have more lenses to choose from, from than anybody. And of course, we all know the different colors from Alabama red to Auburn blue and orange. So we have glasses that will cover anything. And of course, the fun Ray-Bans, the whites and the greens and the blues. Ray-Bans just a fun line to start. But from from function and sports, we want to go into fashion. And, you know, when you look at sunglasses, we have four categories, sports, basic, and I'm not going to talk about basic today. Those are glasses you can buy for under $100, and you can get them all over, including Schaefer Eye Center, like Ralph Sun and things of that nature, CK. But we're going to start with the fashion. So we have sport, we have fashion, we have high-end, which are exclusive frames, and then we have luxury. And we're going to talk about all of that. So let's talk about fashion. What does fashion mean? Fashion means it's a name brand that you're going to see everywhere, whether it be on the runway in New York, on department stores, and sunglass stores. And that would be products like Prada, Versace, Calvin Klein, and Fendi. And those name brands, oh, and I'm forgetting Tom Ford, <laughs> which is one of the new best ones. So when you think about Tom Ford, Prada, Versace, Calvin Klein, um, we're t talking about 
the fashion eyewear. And again, they're made with very good quality. They are in all the magazines. And the only negative, a lot of people wear them because they're sold everywhere. But at Shaver Eye Center, we make sure we have all the brands that you need if you want that fashion-oriented eyewear in Versace, Prada, Tom Ford, <clears throat> and the rest. The next level is we call fashion step up one. And that would be Judith Lieber and David Yerman. Everybody knows David Yerman jewelry, but now David Yerman has come out with sunglasses and ophthalmic lenses, ophthalmic frames, that are just wonderful. And, and everybody loves David Yerman. Their sister company is Judith Lieber. And you can see with Judith Lieber, um, they have all the crystals and all these attachments that really make the frame just stand out. And we call it Fashion Plus because every, everything's based on price. You have $100 sunglasses. You have the fashion we talked about are between $150 and $250. And then we get to $250 to $350, which would be the, the, the Judith Lieber, David Yerman, and Chanel. Um, these three lines are called Fashion Plus. Chanel, because again, Chanel, the double C's, everybody knows about Chanel and, and the, their, their foray into the fashion eyewear business. David Yerman is very new, but real exciting, really nice looking. In fact, that they have all the David Yerman type markings on each of their frames. And whether you like plastic or metal, that's what we have. Uh, I didn't mention this, but we know plastic is really the hottest thing out there. And most, for, for the female, most people are, are using plastics instead of male metal. Although, as you can see, the Chanel, the Aviator, Every brand has a cool aviator that's both for men and for women. So now we're at, we've done sports, we've done fashion, and now we have Fashion Plus. And again, we love these lines. Next comes what we call the Schaefer Austin Exclusive or a high end lines. These are frames that not everybody's going to wear, but they're truly special frames. They're all manufactured in Japan or France. Almost all of them are handmade, high quality, and the best sunglasses. When you look on the runways and you look through the magazines, this is what the stars wear, and this is what you'll be proud to wear. And we can start with Sama. Sama is one of our favorite lines. Um, Sheila, who designs these, these are all handmade. They're double and triple laminates, and you can feel the difference in a Sama frame that, that's a sunglass or an ophthalmic, but, but they are um, just wonderful the way they combine metals and plastics and, of course, different laminate designs. And you can see here's a triple laminate. That's one of Sama's signature pieces. And again, Sheila, who, who does all the designing, is just so wonderful. The next one we're going to look at, I'll have to turn my other way here so we can start with Barton Pereira. Um, Patty, who designs Barton Pereira, again, the next new star in fashion. Um, again, if you go into Bergdahl or Neiman Marcus or any department stores, this is their number one selling sunglasses, Barton Pereira. Um, Again, in all the movies, and you're going to see, we're going to show you some what they call media clips of the different glasses on where they're worn and how they're worn. But Barton Pereira, again, one of our favorites. Robert Mark. You know, I just returned from New York, and I did a Robert Mark walk. You can start on 60th and walk up to 88th, and every six blocks is another Robert Mark store. And that's all they sell is Robert Mark. And you know Robert Mark by their signature sterling silver temples with the two lines. If you, you know, when you watch the Katie Couric or, and always a wearing one, and also uh, most of the news people, Robert Mark tends to be, I don't know why, a great news pair of glasses, but Robert Mark, has some of the, the best design and plastics you're going to see in the country. Next, we're moving into Salt. Salt is a no name brand, name brand. What these uh, guys did is they decided they wanted to manufacture the highest quality ophthalmic frames in sunglasses that fit well, that last forever, and they're made with the best plastics and the best materials, but they don't sacrifice on design. But you won't see their name on it because then they, they do not like names on the glasses. Um, we're going to move now 
to some of our funkier, and one is Anna Valentine and Teo. As you can see with Anna Valentine and Teo, that they're just about design. Anne, who is probably one of the top designers in the world right now, she's out of France, and, and all her glasses are manufactured in France in the factory, and they just do a wonderful job. Oliver Peoples, everybody knows Oliver Peoples. I mean, they really started the revolution of eye care. This is their new plastic plus metal aviator. Again, I'll try it on. I'm trying on all the aviators because, again, there, there are uh, so many styles that look good when we're dealing with these brands. Again, Oliver Peoples, Sama, Barton Pereira, Lori Rodkin by Sama, Robert Mark, Salt, Anna Valentine, Teo, Freudenhaus, again, another great exclusive line. And I brought this one out because I did want you to see this. This is Retrospects. It's again exclusively at Schaefer Eye Center. As you can see, these glasses were manufactured in the 20s and 30s, not replicas, the actual real frames manufactured in the 20s and 30s. And we've brought them back through Retrospects. So again, if you want something that truly is lasting, because this will last you 100 years, as they have already, um, come try on some Retrospects. So we've dealt with sport. We've dealt with fashion. We've dealing with Fashion Plus, we dealt with Exclusive and the Schaefer Eye Center Exclusive, and next, and most importantly, is Luxury. And Luxury means the finest eyewear, and there's only one word for that, and that's Cartier. Cartier makes the finest pair of glasses anywhere in the world. They're worn by royalty, that you know the jewelry store. When you buy a Cartier, you're buying the best. And at Schaefer Eye Center, we have a great assortment of Cartier frames. In fact, we have an exclusive with Cartier. Um, we do, we love them so much. This is the only place in Birmingham you can buy a Cartier. And they are for men and for women. And you know, again, I'm gonna try another. I brought out a lot of aviators again for me because that tends to be, but this is a Cartier aviator and probably one of my favorite frames in the entire Schaefer Eye Center. Now, as you know, Cartier also has plastics with their typical symbol. And again, when you're dealing with Cartier, these frames are bought for a lifetime. It's something you will pass on because again, not only are you wearing the best in eyewear, it's the best in jewelry, Cartier. So as you can see, sunglasses mean fashion, sunglasses mean style, and it also means protection and protection for long-term healthier eye. But at Schaefer Eye Center, this is about fashion. This is about fun. Again, sport, basic, fashion, fashion plus, exclusive, luxury. You have it all. I look forward to seeing you at Schaefer Eye Center and wearing your great Schaefer Eye Center Evolve Your Eyes glasses. Thank you for watching.